But I actually, I also have a V8 energy drink sitting right here. Ooh, pomegranate mango. Yum. A uh, pomegranate blueberry. Yum. That I'm also gonna use just so those points, those hard-earned points don't go to waste, my man. Hold up. Listen to this. Just so you, just so you know I'm not lying, bro. Mmm. Pomegranate blueberry. That shit reminds me of, um, Grand Theft Auto, man. I was playing a shit ton of Grand Theft Auto earlier at the beginning of the year. Hopefully we can get the gang back together and start playing some more, uh, especially with this new online update that just dropped, but yeah. Chug it. I fear I'm not strong enough. <laughs> uh, I No, I know I'm not strong enough. A true shinobi knows his limits and uh, never shows mercy, but in this case, uh, really the knows his own limits is the worthwhile thing to remember here. I know for a fuck. Didn't grab the charcoal. God damn it. Chat, there's no reason to be that upset. That's me overreacting. I apologize, chat. There's, we're good. I just need to go back and <laughs> just need to go back and grab the charcoal. There's nothing to be upset about. Do I need? Don't worry about it, bro. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and how much do we have? 24 pieces of charcoal. Golly. Let's go ahead and drop off. Eh. Where's it gonna be under? Is it tools? Yeah. Five pounds. We don't need to carry all of it. Let's go ahead and do that. Drop off 12 here. That. Drop that off. Drop that. And that. We have a lot of things we don't really need. I, like I said, we're going to keep the can on me just in case we have to spend the night out. I, I, I prefer we didn't, but, you know, amen. Sometimes life doesn't go the way you want it to go. And that's okay. Just got to roll with the punches. Hmm. All right, so both wolves retreated up in this direction, if I recall correctly. I know, yeah, their tracks are gone, unfortunately. That's a real shame. I wish the tracks for the wolves stayed, a, uh, stayed intact a while longer. But then again, maybe it snowed again last night. I guess that's the reasoning behind it. It must have snowed last night, and now uh, all the tracks are covered. Let's get up somewhere high and then start uh, charcoaling out some spots on the map. Uh, good tip, by the way, chat. If you guys are looking for a uh, lost kill, like, for example, I'm looking for these two wolves. Even if you've spotted or marked this whole area on your map already, it's always a good idea to go over it with the charcoal again just to show where the kills are now residing. So we're going to get up here, do this, and hopefully the wolves are showing up on my map. Nope. Doesn't look like them. They must have run off pretty far. Let's get up a little higher. Uh, preferably without breaking my ankles. Or my neck. If I can get up here without breaking anything, I think I'd be happy. I think I would be more than better off. More than well off. No fucking shot. Is that both of them? No, that's a rabbit chat. My fault. For a, a split second, I was like, there's no way you're both alive. I would have to be the unluckiest man alive for that to happen, chat. Put it again. They're, they're alive? Or maybe they died by derailment. I don't know. That is nutty to me. That is absolutely crazy. I'm not even mad. I'm more than, I'm impressed. If they managed to survive after I shot one of them in the head, took a hatchet to him, the other one I shot twice in the side... Maybe they deserve to survive just as much as I do, chat. I'm trying to... I'm trying to think of it like that, you know? I'm just saying. Uh... We're gonna go ahead and hit this again. They're alive. That is... That is really impressive, actually. Okay. Uh... Hmm... some good firewood up here though so tell you what we might as well our temperature is dropping somewhat precipitously so let's see if we can go ahead and grab a couple of these before we leave we need as much firewood as we can jack because right now our water situation is not poggers at all and plus we have all that food to cook so how's the weather looking clear skies nothing to worry about 
So with those wolves gone and possibly alive, I think what we'll do now is head back home and get to crafting. I'm not going to make this a whole episode adventure chat. I mean, it's... I mean... Maybe. I put a hole in a brother for freaking with me. Many men. Many, 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 many men. Step on me. It's such a good song, dude. Many Men by 50 Cent is such a banger. Imagine getting shot like 12 times, surviving, and then making a song about it. So, so fucking good. And he's still alive to this day. That is crazy to me. I mean, that's good though. Like, don't don't get me wrong. 50 Cent still being alive is a good thing. Because, you know. Generally speaking, uh, uh, you know, don't, don't. If someone survives getting shot, then that's, that's a good thing, you know? Yeah, look at this. This is a, uh, a blizzard blowing in. But, uh, luckily, I'm a master of navigation, chat, so I really don't have to worry about much. I just need to... Yeah, look at that. Those are the train tracks. So, we just make our way down the hill, and there's home. Right there. There's a little Canadian flag. Many men. Many men. I don't cry no more. Don't look to the sky no more. Have mercy on me. By the way, how are you guys hearing me? By the, um, is the audio okay? I've been talking. Uh, I feel like I'm talking a bit louder, but right now that's because I'm working with a new boom arm, and it kind of auto extends on its own, so I I have to speak louder in order for my voice to fully convey. And for you guys to hear me clearly, so... Yeah, just let me know how it sounds and whether or not you hear or see any improvements. I'm gonna go ahead and take another hour to chop down some firewood. That was cedar, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, this storm is gnarly. This is why we don't... This is why we don't go too far out, chat. You get lost in one of these and you have absolutely no idea where you are, I'd say eight times out of ten, you're gonna die. But, uh, that, that, you know, there's there's enough structures littered around the map and caves and stuff like that that you're not always going to die, which is why I say, you know, 8 out of 10, right? But uh, stay safe practicing blizzard navigation, because 9 times out of 10, chat, here we go again with the statistics I'm pulling out of thin air. 9 times out of 10, you're not going to navigate that shit. That shit is going to navigate you. What does that mean? Chad, if you have to ask what it means, then you probably shouldn't be out in the blizzard in the first place. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Um, I don't think we can actually do much crafting, if any, today. Did we take our meds today? We should have taken our sixth dose today. We did not. What's up, Coaster? How you doing today, brother? Welcome back to stream. It's good to see you. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, let me know, guys, how the audio sounds. I feel like I'm speaking a little louder, but that's just to convey my voice since the boom arm is a little higher than I normally have it. But yeah, good shit all around. Good shit all around. Yeah, <clears throat> just adjusting my seat and posture. You already know how it is. <sighs> Should probably get a fire going. Um start fire we have a stick 60 percent success chance let's go ahead and roll those dice i like those odds wow i uh, the odds did not like me is what i'm picking up from that that's fine good thing we have a spare
and start off with three of these. We'll go ahead and toss in all of our sticks. There we go. Cooking pot. Oh, no, not cooking pot. Uh, water pot. Yep. That's going to take about two hours to finish up. So like I said, chat, we're going to go ahead and finish up our... Well, not finish up, but get a little bit more progress in on our current... Project. We we're working on the deerskin pants, right? Yes, I think we we're working on the pants. Yeah, eight hours. Perfect. Go and work on that for two hours. I think we might lose our well-fed bonus. Act no, apparently not. Let's go and grab a snack from outside. Oh, ch oh, chat, look at this putrid ass weather. There's no shot I'm going anywhere in this. Look at all this food, chat. We don't have to worry about anything. Well, I mean, aside from bears and getting lost in the cold, how cold is it out here? Pretty fucking cold, it would, it would seem. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, yeah, 13 degrees. It's actually not too bad. I think it's mostly the wind chill that's doing us in here. Because we've got some pretty decent clothing, as it is, but... So that fire's going. We did our two hours. Hopefully the water hasn't boiled away, though. I feel like I might have been allowed... No, there it is. Cool. Good shit. Um, 16 minutes. Yeah, we just barely made it. Okay. Let's go and get another... Let's go and get another gallon going. Do we have any really crappy wood we could use? Probably this, right? Yeah. There we go. Okay, cool. This means we will be cutting it a little closer uh, the next two hours we do, though. Eh. We'll, we'll put an hour and a half in on the... Uh, We'll put an hour and a half in on the, the deerskin pants and then kind of go from there, I'm thinking. Chuck some of this water in, because obviously we don't need to be carrying, yeah, a whole gallon around. That is a lot of weight that I cannot afford to carry. And I know you're going to carry that weight, Chad. You, you, yeah, obviously, I'm fine with carrying that weight, but... If I don't have to, generally, I won't. Did we check this drawer? We did. Never pays to, or never hurts to double tap chat. You always want to be sure, a hundred percent sure. There we go. Yeah, and it doesn't look like we had two hours, anyways. Four and a half hours left. We'll be able to finish this off tomorrow. I'll come back tomorrow. That man Goliath was stone cold. He was. I don't know, man. Say what you will about that whole section of the Bible, but I think Goliath might have been the OG. This man pulled up and said, is anybody going to fight me? And all the Israelites were like, huh, no. And he was like, all right, bet. I'm going to be back here tomorrow just to bitch y'all again. He did the, and he lunged at him and got like, huh. And they were like, huh. He was like, ah, I'm just messing with you guys. Don't worry about it. Then along comes this like nine-year-old with a rock. And he's like, what are you about to do? And David said, bet. David kind of stunned it on him, too. I'm not going to lie. Like, he he chopped that man's head off. He brought him down with a rock and said, All right, I'm going to make sure you don't get up. That's what... Chad, what am I telling y'all? I'm telling y'all the double tap. And this man, David, he wrote the book on it. Let's go ahead and drink up. I think I'm going to top off with some cattails. And then... I think I'll be able to go ahead and eat. I, I think I'll top up with some of these cattails, and I think I'll be able to eat. Yeah, because that makes sense. Good job, Buzz. Excellent commentary. You just bit your tongue trying to joke that off. You need to stop talking, Buzz. No. I'm going to keep talking. That's what I'm going to do. Buzz has an existential crisis on stream. <laughs> Arguing with imaginary people. No, honest. I'm not crazy. 
Uh, yeah, we could go for another couple hours of sleep. Let's go for... How's our hunger? Fine. Along with our water. Let's go for... Let's go for an easy six. An even six. daytime uh, a little thirsty not very hungry though i feel like with the amount of food we have or rather the food we're eating i think that means we're less light or we we get hungry less slower i guess it's more filling i don't know if that's a mechanic in the game but that's what i'm thinking uh let's go ahead and put in another solid two hours on this thing and we'll be able to finish these up today and then start off on something else Yep, there we go. Two and a half hours, and we will have some new pantalones. There we go. Let's go and toss them on, see how the, how we're rocking with them. Oh, yeah, that is so much better than what we had. There we go. They are heavier, though, as you can see. Well, not by much. 3.3 versus 4.4. That's not too bad. Definitely better, though. We might be able to double stack those, but eh. We actually want to have those on the outside now that I'm thinking. Yeah, the outer layer here. Then the inner layer will be that. There we go. Just so we're getting the uh, the most out of it. This the outer layer. The inner layer. Hmm. Tell you what, I think we might actually want to switch that around too. Let's go ahead and have the Mariner's P code on the outside. And then on the inside, we'll have the uh, the parka. Or does that does that matter? I don't know. I don't know if it matters, Chad. I'm just trying to. I'm just. I'm just doing my best, you know. I'm just trying to be me, the best me I can be. Um. All right, cool. Food's good. We could probably top off the water situation. Hmm. Why do people in sitcoms always think that getting a character pregnant is going to make the ki the show somewhat better? You notice that, right? It's like whenever you can feel the show is starting to lose steam, it's like, "Oh, by the way, I'm pregnant." I'm like, "Oh, okay. That's cool, I guess." I suppose. I don't know. It's it's just something I've noticed. It's it's not annoying. I don't, I'm not bothered by it. It's just, I'm not sure why they do it, you know? Maybe it does make it more interesting. Just not for me. Maybe I'm not, I don't know, man. Uh, it's going to take 25 hours to do that, but can we make a wolfskin bed? We should be able to, right? Bearskin bedroll. No wolfskin bedroll? Huh. Oh, well. Okay, that's fine. 7.2, uh, 7.2. Versus, oh, we should also take our medicine, too. We're definitely going to, I think it's going to be the urban parka that gets the, that gets the shaft there, but let's go ahead and spend two hours working on this, and then see how we're feeling after that. Lot of raw meat here that we just haven't done anything with so let's take care of that before we finish up with all of this you know i'm still a little mad i'm maybe not mad mad might not be the word to describe it but i'm maybe concerned with the fact that i've angered two wolves i shot one of them twice the other got the hatchet and the bullet to the head they're still kicking they're out there, and they're plotting on my demise. That's not a good thing for me, Chad. I might have accidentally created two supervillains. Just plotting, waiting out for the, out there for me in the blizzard. That's... That's probably something future Buzz should be concerned about. Right now, well, I'm doing fine. This is cool. That's future Buzz's problem, Chad. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm not. I've forgotten it already. What are we talking about? I don't know. Uh, let's go and spend another hour, and then... I think, I don't know. I said maybe tonight. I said tonight. We'll figure it out. 
I can be very indecisive at times. But I guess we can probably do some cooking tonight. Motherfucker, did you see those two? That's some Freddy that's some Freddy Fazbear type shit, dude. I looked at that and instantly I was a scared little 14-year-old boy again playing fucking Five Nights at Freddy's on my Intel fucking I don't know. Oh <gasps> wait a minute. Crows. Where you at? Oh, they're just here to signal the weather change. I thought they were here to tell me, Those wolves are dead. The wolves are dead. Hi-ho, the wolves are dead. I don't know why they talk like that, but it'd be easy enough to distinguish their voice from mine. So I guess that's probably the reason. No. Yeah, no crows. I am 100% convinced that they both survived. That's concerning to me. Either they're growing, they're growing stronger, or this thing just ain't cutting it anymore. Which would probably coincide with the fact that they are growing stronger. I don't know, man. I don't know. Pull up. Let me do my little, little dance to make sure they don't come back. Alright, I think we should be in the clear for at least two, three days. Four tops. I don't know, man. It's been a while. out of here barking they're gonna be like oh whoa, whoa. fuck up off me Ew, moldy wolf icky let's go ahead and cook all the moldy shit first i'm not above eating moldy shit chat in game i'm a little pansy when it comes to that stuff in real life i'm like ew icky mold no maybe that's why i'm still alive i mean if i see moldy bread i generally just throw out the loaf but i don't know man Mold can be a little scary sometimes. You never know. Food mold, they apparently say, isn't as deadly. But I don't want to be that guy where they have to, like, revisit the entire study. They're like, well, this would have all been prevented if he hadn't eaten that one loaf of bread. That had the green speck of mold on it. At least they'd probably name it after me. They'd be like the, the buzz disease. Or the buzz mold scenario. Buzz mold incident of 2021. Uh, chance of success. Yeah, let's go for. Let's go ahead and take our chances. Forty-five percent chat. Easy. I'm a prof I'm a professional, so this shit should be a okay for me. Ow! Damn it! I don't think we have any books around here, so. I was gonna say we should be coming up on a level up for fire starting. What does that entail? I keep pressing the wrong button for that. There we go. Uh, fire starting. You're quite good at starting fires. Your fires start better and they last longer. Ten percent longer, in fact. That's not negligible at all. That's really good. And put in for three hours, and then we'll see how we're feeling. Sort by quality, get all the moldy shit cooked first, because, like I said, man, you want to get this shit done as soon as possible. And I'm... Did we take our medicine today? Hold up. Uh... Four doses remaining. No, we did not. I forget, did we? Hold up. I'm going to save real quick, chat. That's what I'm about to do. I'm going to sleep for an hour, take my medicine, and uh, if we end up wasting it, I'm going to just exit out and load back in. Because that's not something I want to do. If we can't get rid of this, we're basically... I don't want to say we're fucked, but we're not in a good place. I, I got to say. Drop that on there. Another thing I don't think I mentioned, the lighting in this game is so good. The entire atmosphere, like, look how it stretches across the floor and just leads to absolutely nothing. The lighting in this game is spectacular. One of the things that really drew me to this game was how unique it looked compared to all the other 
survival open world games that are on the market. It's so good, dude. I love this game so much. Take your medicine. <sighs> there we go. Okay, cool. So we'll take another dose tomorrow morning. We need to figure out when we take... We just need to set a time to take them, chat. Because right now, I think that's the issue. I keep forgetting if I took it today because I'm taking them at random intervals. Which I shouldn't be doing. Don't take your medicine at random intervals, chat. Take it from me. Not your medicine, this knowledge. Pick a time and a date and stick to it. That's what I'm saying. Uh... We go hour 23 on that we might actually i don't want to stay up all night cooking i think we'll put a one more log onto the stove and then probably call it a night we'll stick the fur on there yeah two hours that's cool I would love to get some reading in while we cook, but unfortunately we can't. Seeing as we still have the parasites, the game still considers us too tired to read. 20 minutes. Yeah. That's cool. We got an hour and 17 on there. 49. 49. Twenty-five minutes there. Let's go ahead and uh, grab the lantern, not the tool. We can leave the mouse tool for a later day. God damn, these servers are kicking my ass today, man. Sorry to bring it up again, but we are... I'm seeing we're dropping a couple of frames, and... Yeah, I don't know, man. Switch servers have been kind of bugging. I've done everything I can. But uh, that's going to be the end of that talk, because I, I know I can kind of go off on tangents and shit for a while. How many? 805 versus... Ooh. Right, because we get extra calories now, because we're like level 3 cooks now. Perfect. Exceptional. How are we doing on hunger? Probably should have checked that before we... No, we're doing fine. Always remember to turn your lantern off when you go to sleep, chat. Because this will continue to burn. It doesn't automatically turn off. I've learned that the hard way. You'd think the game would turn it off automatically for you, but the game doesn't do any of that hand-holding, kissing your boo-boos bullshit. No, no. The, the game will be like, oh, you should have turned it off. I guess you'll learn your lesson now, huh? You're sitting there, you're on the sidewalk, your knees scraped, you're crying, and the game's just laughing at you like, ha ha, stupid kid didn't turn off his lantern. 